Good morning, soldiers of the cross. Uh, I'm in New Mexico. We sat all day Saturday waiting to get unloaded of that chicken. It was ridiculous. Uh, so we didn't get out of there. And then we picked up a little load in uh, Arvin, California. And we're headed back to Morrow, Georgia. But uh, I was uh, listening to my Bible. Uh, I got it on audio. If you go to my playlist, my saved playlist, I got the uh, King James Bible on audio. If you ever, I mean, you can get it for yourself. But uh, I often listen to it in that living sound. I like that. Uh, where they have sound effects and stuff. But uh, in John chapter 19, where uh, Pontius Pilate is uh, the trial of Jesus. And you know, Pontius Pilate is a curious character to me because if any man should have gotten saved and didn't, I think uh, one of them would be... Uh, Pontius Pilate because he said in uh, John 19 three times he says I find no fault in him in another place in the Bible he says uh, I wash my hands of this innocent man uh, in John 19 he says behold the man he says behold he says to the Jews Behold your king. And the Jews said, of course, we have no king but Caesar. If you don't crucify him, you're no friend of Caesar. But Pontius Pilate was a curious character. I, in tradition, says that he uh, killed himself. You got to always take that with a grain of salt. The Bible does not record his death. It was not for Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Pontius Pilate would not even be known. As a matter of fact, uh, the atheist archaeologist uh, for years said that he never even existed until they found, uh, I think, a rock or a tomb or something with uh, the name or a step. It was something you can look that up and let us know in the comments if you know what that is. But they found something in the archaeology uh, that recorded uh, Pontius Pilate. He, uh, again, he wouldn't even be known. But he he washed his hands of Jesus when he, <laughs> he should have washed his soul, washed his heart. His wife warned him she said, I had bad dreams about this guy. And uh, he thought not to crucify Jesus. He didn't want to. But the Jews, the mob, actually the Pharisees, uh, they, you know, enticed them. They aggravated the crowd. Uh, very much like what's going on in the world today the politicians are agitating the crowd uh, giving them false information and uh, then they're hollering climate change and uh, you know we gotta tax the rich and uh, all this stuff but uh, the same thing was going on there the political people which Pontius Pilate was obviously uh, political person. He was the governor of uh, Jerusalem area. And so he, uh, he, it, was, it fell to him to try Jesus. What's strange is uh, the Jews said, well, we can't, it's not in our law to kill anybody. And of course, immediately after the resurrection of Jesus, uh, they were out killing Christians left and right. <coughs> but they wanted uh, Pontius Pilate to do their dirty work, and he did. And uh, 
he said, uh, should I crucify this innocent man? I find no fault in him. And anybody that has really looked into the subject will never find any fault in Jesus. Uh, he also said, behold the man. You got to look at the guy. Here he is. You got to deal with him. He was talking to the Jews, of course, but he was telling them, look, you got to deal with this guy. This is, he uh, later in that chapter, he said, uh, would you want to crucify your king? He knew that, that Jesus was the king of the Jews, and the Jews said, we have no king but uh, Caesar, crucify him. And another place in the Bible says, they said, he, he, when he washed his hands, they said, let his blood upon, be upon us and our children. And folks, if you look down through the history of the Jewish nation after the crucifixion, the blood of Jesus Christ has been upon the Jew and his children. Uh, they wanted to crucify him. They didn't care anything about the uh, what would happen after that. And it was in that same generation uh, that Titus uh, burnt Jerusalem to the ground and uh, destroyed the temple in that same generation. They rejected their king and uh, they said, crucify him and let his blood be upon us. And everybody knows about what happened at the Holocaust. But even before the Holocaust in history, just look it up, the Jew uh, was has been persecuted ever since then <coughs> and I think they will be until he returned and then they'll look upon them him that they crucified and say uh, they'll realize he is their Messiah their King their Savior then but not before that but anyhow Pontius Pilate found no fault in Jesus he looked at Jesus he said behold the man he even asked him in one place he said what is truth when truth was standing right before him? It's a tragic thing that Pontius Pilate died and went to hell uh, after meeting the king of the Jews and he knew that he was the king of the Jews. It just is uh, amazing to me that he, uh, you know, after all that, he died and went to uh, uh, hell. Uh, he knew that he was innocent. He knew who he was. I believe he knew who he was. You know, I'm reading a little bit into it. Uh, he found no fault in him. Anybody that's looked into the uh, Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> with any seriousness uh, in their Bible or even in the historic uh, text Jesus, there's more proof <clears throat> that Jesus Christ lived than there is uh, that Julius Caesar lived. There's more, way more written about Jesus Christ, this lowly carpenter, than there has been any other man that's ever lived, walked the earth. And nobody, since the beginning of time, unless they're a false witness, can say with any honesty that they find any fault in him. Uh, I find no fault in him. As a matter of fact, he is my Lord and Savior. Uh, I, uh, November 17, 1985, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, saved my soul. I didn't deserve it. It was had nothing, no merit to do with me. I was uh, living in sin. And he came into my heart and saved my soul. And even after that, uh, I have backslidden. And, uh, you know, I've had a, uh, to struggle with my Christian walk. But all that time, all those 35 years, I've never found any fault in Jesus. If you don't know him, I would challenge you uh, 
to, to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to the Father except by Him. I pleading with you, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, look into it and see if you can find any fault in Him. God bless you. Have a good Monday. It's Monday morning. So everybody uh, that, ha that works probably going to, to work today. I hope you have a wonderful day. <coughs> and remember to read those King James Bibles and pray without ceasing.